Welcome back to At Home with Amy Jean. I'm Amy Jean and I am thankful that you are here today with me. I needed some major laundry motivation. I have never seen my laundry piles get this big, at least in the four years that we've lived in this house. So we needed to get a lot done today. So hopefully if you have some laundry to get done, this will motivate you to get started. And if you need the kick in the patootie, <laughs> why don't you pause this, get up and go start a load. I really like using these collapsible baskets for my dirty laundry, just sorting it by color. I do use color catcher sheets every now and again if I have a smaller load that I'm putting like reds in with whites or something like that. But for the most part, we generally have enough laundry to do a good size load of each color. These loads were getting really big. It has been an interesting few weeks around here. The Pacific Northwest got a good amount of snow after Christmas and in our area specifically it snowed and then melted and then snowed and then melted and then snowed and then melted. So we had layers of snow and ice and when it was finally warm enough to start raining it rained really hard. So our, our house actually sits pretty low in our neighborhood and so a lot of the water drains basically into our yard and under our house. So we have had to learn some things as we have lived in this house that we've had to put in extra sump pumps and be really strategic about our drainage to get it out from under our house. And even this year we had basically a river coming from the road in front of our house through our front yard to our front door. So we had some interesting times getting that figured out. My poor husband actually had surgery the following day, so he didn't really get to rest much before his surgery. So I'm very thankful that he was able to get that done before he was out of commission. We had to put up some instant dams along the road to kind of guide the water away from our yard to the drain, which then routes it under our side yard to the wetlands behind our house which then when the water rises back there, it also rises in our backyard. So it's just, it's been an interesting season of living in this house as we try to figure out what to do. So after all of that, he had surgery and then just was not feeling real great for the following week, week and a half. So I fell behind with laundry and some other household stuff. So. It is definitely good to tackle this pile today. I was starting to feel overwhelmed by it and I knew that the best thing to do was to just take a minute, look at it, and then start moving. Get on it. So that's what I did. As you can see, start by sorting and then get a load in. So I thought I'd share a little bit more about myself so you can kind of get to know me a bit. Some things I like to do are listen to audiobooks, watch movies or TV. Um, one thing I like to do while I'm doing those things is to keep my hands busy with some form of a yarn crafting. So I like to knit or crochet. 
just today actually, my sister and my mom asked me to make them a tea cozy. So I spent some time looking over patterns and finding something that they might like as well as I would like to actually do. So that's been kind of a fun new project that I'm gonna start working on here soon. Another thing I like to do is listen to Harry Potter audiobooks. I'm a total fan. I listen to those books almost annually. Something about Jim Dale reading it, it's just kind of a comfort. <laughs> if you haven't heard him read the Harry Potter series, do yourself a favor and find it at the library or on Audible or however you listen to audiobooks. I highly recommend it. One thing I'm working on is getting outside the bubble of my home and my family. While they're my priority, I do need to step away from these roles every now and again to just be Amy Jean. I got to go visit a friend the other night and just sit on her couch and talk about our lives and get to know each other beyond the small talk that we have in passing. Um, this particular friend routinely texts me to ask how she can be praying for me this week. And I can't tell you how much that means to me, that she cares about how I'm doing and what I need, even when we don't see each other all that often. So I'd like to extend that to others as well. So if you listening to this or watching this are in need of prayer of any sort, just let me know. And I would definitely like to be praying for you as well as the people that I do know. I don't think I've shared much as far as the products that I use. I realized this week as my husband is recovering from surgery that he also broke out in hives and we realized that it was because I was using a sample of a laundry detergent that had been given to me and while I loved it, it was rosemary and lavender smelling like laundry pods and I thought it was awesome. I thought it smelled wonderful. but. He started breaking out in hives and really itchy and we realized immediately that that was the only thing that had changed besides his surgery, which he had been on a few days of the meds after that and had no problem. So more laundry to do to get back to our free and clear ways. I use Earth Breeze detergent sheets in their free and clear um, scent or I'm not sure what you call it. They're free and clear version. <laughs> How about that? And then as far as dryer sheets, I prefer not to use dryer sheets, but I have noticed when I don't that my lint trap is clean. And so I feel like in order to get the lint and the dog hair and cat hair and everything off of our clothes in the laundry, that dryer sheets seem to be a must. So I use the all brand also free and clear. So if I want some things to smell good, I do have wool dryer balls that I will put lavender essential oil on. So I'll put a few drops on each of the balls in the dryer and then the clothes come out smelling wonderful. Lavender is probably my very favorite scent and that and probably another warm scent would be vanilla, but I haven't really found a vanilla essential oil that smells quite right. So if you know of any good vanilla essential oils, please let me know because we have sensitive skin in this house. My mother-in-law did turn me on to Revive Essential Oils. Their website sells directly to the buyer, and so I've actually really enjoyed their products. I think from 
the things that I have ordered from them. They have a good amount of organic essential oils. They are really good quality for the price point. So if you have seen in my other videos, if I am doing essential oils in the diffusers, it is usually the Revive brand. So I will link that in the description box if you're interested in that actual brand because I love it. This little girl here smothering the cat is Lennon. She's seven years old and I really do need to teach her how to fold laundry because she does seem to hang out when I'm doing it. And I think if she doesn't want to necessarily learn, maybe her love language is quality time because it is time where I am paying attention to only her because most often the other kids are off doing something else. So it's been pretty fun to have her in here chatting with me and keeping me smiling. I know you can't really see it because my camera angle is ridiculous, but it's been fun folding with her around. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should actually say that quality time is probably her secondary love language. I want to say her primary is gifts. This child is so creative and everything she makes she wants to give to somebody. We are sending mail across the country to her cousins or to her grandparents just half an hour to hour away from us or saving it for when dad gets home from work or bringing it to Sunday school or to our homeschool co-op to bring to friends. She just loves to give things to other people. I think it brings her joy so that's been a fun thing to see develop in her. This pink and red and orange load is kind of a funny load because 98% of it always is the girls, which is, you know, probably typical, but I don't wear a ton of pink or red and my kids, for some reason, the girls do. I just find that funny. Do you have a, a color that one of your kids typically always wears? Is it their favorite color? Is it your favorite color on them? what is so special about this load other than they are little girls and they love pink. <laughs>
as I am folding these clothes, I am finding clothes that are too small for my kids and I'm putting them on my nightstand. It's amazing how fast they are growing and the things that are getting too short or too tight is just happening too fast. This load only took me about eight minutes to fold and get taken off my bed, and then I came out to the living room to this. Yeah, oh my goodness, you're a frog. With their help cleaning up that big mess in the living room, it only took about seven minutes to get that place totally tidied up. So later tonight, I actually did vacuum. I didn't film it because I was tired. <laughs> I'm about to toss in a load of lot, a load of laundry. Yes, a load of laundry. I'm about to toss in a load of towels, which I wash on a sanitized cycle, which takes about two hours, and so. I ended up switching it over to the dryer right before I fell asleep so that coming up here is the next day I end up folding those towels the following day and as you know I like to say we like to get most of it all done not quite all of it done in one day progress over perfection one step closer to getting things done is better than none one routine that I used to do that I need to get back into and I'm working towards that is the one load a day keeps the mountain away. So I would like to get back into that routine where I do a load of laundry every day. Starting a load in the morning, changing it over to the dryer at some point during the day, and then folding it before I go to bed is so much easier than having to keep track of when the washing machine is done and switching the loads multiple times a day and then spending so much time in my bedroom folding when I could be with my family or out with a friend. It is a good habit to do the one load a day and I used to do it and 
It's just something that I need to get back into the habit or routine of doing. apologize for the background noise. It's a little loud in here. The kids are watching Luca and wrestling. <laughs> um, but thanks for coming along with me for this laundry motivation. I had this huge pile, piles of laundry that I needed to get done. And so, you know, just take one load at a time and get going and eventually it will go away, at least for the most part, till your kids change clothes again, which we are working on that. <laughs> But I hope you are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, and God bless you.